A British boy, apparently kidnapped by his mum six years ago, has been found. He essentially turned up in France. His name is, is Alex Batty. He was 11 then. He's now 17. He was on holiday in Spain with his mother, Melanie, and his grandfather, and then he, he went missing. I never know whether kidnapped by mum is a thing, so I don't know how to react to this. Yeah, it's difficult, isn't it? Yeah. I really feel for the grandmother, though. So being a granny myself now, yeah. in case nobody knew that, because I talk <laughs> about it most days. <laughs> it's, um, I just, you know, and also she's the same age as me, and I cannot imagine what it would be like if I didn't see my granddaughter for six years, I think I'd probably have died of a broken heart by now. So I can imagine listening. I've been reading what the grandmother has said. Mm. And, you know, I can just have empathised with every word of what yeah. she said. And of course, well, there are year... things where, where a one parent doesn't have legal guardianship, as I understand the mother didn't hear. It was the grandmother who had legal guardianship, I think. Yeah, so the grandfather and the mother... Hence kidnapped took, by yeah. the mother. So, so you can be kidnapped by a parent. It's a, it's a strange story though, isn't it? But there's a reason why the grandmother's been given guardianship, surely. Yeah, there must, sure. there must be a reason, Gina. because you don't often take away guardianship from a parent easily. The courts don't do that. So there must be something going on. He must have been in danger. But there's so much going to be revealed. But on one hand, I'm thinking... This boy must have gone through such trauma. You know, we have to respect it. And it doesn't become a salacious story that's on the papers all the time because he's going to need safeguarding. He's going to be lo needing looking after. And he's going to need... There's a lot that we need to find out. But I think we need to let them be a family and yeah. for him to heal yeah. and not be too intrusive at this time. No, it'll, a couple of days and this will, I guess, be forgotten by everyone except the family. But the, 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 the French student has been talking who offered him a lift. This is Fabienne Axidini. Offered Alex a lift in the early hours of Wednesday after spotting him walking near Toulouse. And then obviously the whole story came out. Have a listen. I picked him up on the side of the road. He told me he'd been walking for four days after leaving the mountains. He didn't know where he was or where he was going, only that he'd been taken by his mother when he was 12 years old. He spent three years in Spain and has been in France for two years. And he told me he was part of a spiritual commune. One of the first things Alex did after Fabienne picked him up was message his grandmother, who, who uh, Nadine mentioned, just to say he wanted to come home. So we can see it there. Hello, Grandma. It's me, Alex. I'm in France. Really hope that you receive this message. I love you. I want to come home. That, that starts to get quite heartbreaking, doesn't it? Oh, it does. Yeah. I worry about his mental health moving forward as well, because yeah. that whole transition from being with his mother, being taken away from his family, arriving back with his family, you know, for a 17-year-old boy, mentally, that's a lot for him to deal and with. And you also don't know what was going on in the cult and what the whole that whole setup yeah. was. So but, cult, cult, I've heard the word cult and I'm thinking, is this a religious thing that was going on? Or it, it, In the paper it says spiritual Spiritual cult. cult. But that doesn't mean and also, cult. So many things are cult. It's by any other, yes. by any other name, yeah. isn't it? It's cult. It's a, well, yeah, I mean... You're, you're, and how's he going to feel a year from today, you know, when he's trying to reintegrate into society? Yeah. And he went when he was 11. He doesn't know. He hasn't gone through that, that whole learning process of how, you know, the society has come back into works mm. where is he going to be a year from now and you know is he going to be a happy boy that's why i yeah. think we need to be really careful about how he's treated by the media by the press okay yeah. well on that note